Shohei Otani, the Japanese two-way phenom, the second coming of Babe Ruth, possibly the greatest and soon-to-be richest baseball player in the history of the sport, thanks to a $700 million deal he just signed with the Dodgers. But all of that could be at stake with what's transpired these past couple weeks. With seemingly everything going right for the MLB's golden boy, behind closed doors lies a story of friendship, deception, and a problem that could pose a threat to the future of sports as a whole. Shohei Otani is a Japanese baseball star from Mitsusawa, Japan. Otani came from an athletic family, his father played amateur baseball in Japan, and his mom competed at a high level in badminton. Naturally, Otani was introduced to the sport at a young age and instantly fell in love. He was known as a Yaku Shonen, basically someone who lives and breathes baseball. And Otani dominated the sport through high school, exhibiting a unique talent for both pitching and hitting. And soon after graduating high school, he expressed a desire desire to play professionally in the US one day, his dream landing spot being the Los Angeles Dodgers. Despite his dreams to play in Los Angeles, he would be drafted to the Hokkaido Nippon Ham Fighters. The reason being is they would allow him to pitch while also playing other positions, something the Dodgers weren't willing to do. During his rookie year with the Fighters in 2013, Shohei would be introduced to Japanese American interpreter Ipe Mitsuhara, who was in Japan interpreting for the American baseball players, and they would form a friendship that lasted all all throughout his time with the fighters. Over the next four years, Otani would continue his climb up the ranks of talent in the Japanese Pro League, culminating in an MVP season in 2016 where he would hit 22 home runs with a 322 batting average. And on the mound, he had a career low 1.86 ERA with 174 strikeouts. All of this in 104 games played. But towards the end of the 2017 season, Otani was growing a bit restless and wanted to take his career to the next level. So he let the fighters know of his intentions to play in the US, and after many negotiations and a list of seven preferred teams, he would eventually sign with the Los Angeles Angels, who had agreed to use him both as a pitcher and a designated hitter. Showtime was officially coming to America. However, like many foreign players, Otani would need a translator, someone to help him communicate with coaches, teammates, and media personnel. And who better than longtime friend Ipe Mitsuhara? And during that time with the Angels, Otani and Mitsuhara would be side by side 24 7. So much so that Mitsuhara was quoted saying, I'm with him 365 days a year. Laughing together in the dugout, being spotted at sporting events after the games, Ipe also said he spent more time with Otani than his wife at times. And due to Otani being a massive international star, naturally his right hand man Ipe grew to be a fan favorite both in LA and back home in Japan. And of course, while playing in Los Angeles, Otani and Ipe would brush shoulders with some pretty high rollers from all different fields and backgrounds. And one night in 2021, during a poker game in San Diego, Ipe would be introduced to a man by the name of Matthew Boyer, a notorious gambler who had been banned from several Las Vegas casinos. And no, this isn't one of those cases where he was banned from winning too much. He actually filed for bankruptcy in 2011 due to over $400,000 in losses. But since their poker game in 2018, Ipe would go through Boyer to place bets on credit. These bets were on soccer, NFL, NBA, college football, but supposedly never baseball. Which is fine, as long as he's not betting on baseball, it's all good. Actually, there were a few minor problems. Number one being Ipe was a terrible gambler. Number two, sports betting is still illegal in California. And three, Boyer Boyer has been in the middle of an FBI investigation for allegedly running an illegal gambling ring out of Southern California, which is where things get interesting. So fast forward to today. Well, technically March 18th, 7.30 p.m., information gets out to MLB executives about a situation involving Shohei Otani and his interpreter, Ipe Mitsuhara. The next day, ESPN reaches out to Otani's agent about an investigation showing wire transfers from Shohei Otani's account directly to Matthew Boyer. A couple hours later, a newly hired spokesman for Otani lets ESPN know that he's reaching out to Otani's camp to gather more information. A few hours after that, Otani's spokesman reports to ESPN that Otani had wired the money to pay off gambling debts for Ipe Mitsuhara. The spokesman said that Otani let his agent know that he wired the payments in $500,000 increments 
totaling $4.5 million. Later that day, Ipe grants an interview with ESPN coming clean about the whole situation. He said he was struggling, living paycheck to paycheck, traveling with Otani and trying to keep up with his lifestyle. The debt began to balloon, but he didn't want to involve Shohei. Up until last October, when the debt surpassed $4 million and he had no other options but to reach out to Otani for help. He explained his situation to Otani, who was understandably upset, but more than willing to help out his friend. They both logged onto Otani's account and sent the money over that day. After the money was sent, Ipe swore to Otani he would pay him back and life would go on as normal for the most part. The next day, on March 20th, the Dodgers had a game in Korea against the San Diego Padres, and the two were seen laughing in the dugout after the game getting along as normal. But after the game, word gets out to the team, and owner Mark Walter lets everybody know in the clubhouse of the story that's about to be published. Mitsuhata comes clean to everybody present about his gambling addiction and states that Otani is loaning him the money to pay off his debts. But keep in mind, this is all happening in English. Otani is left completely in the dark as to what's being addressed. It wasn't until later on their way back to the hotel when he started asking more questions. And that's when he realized that everything Ipe was telling him was completely false. Throughout the whole process of ESPN reaching out to gather information on the matter, all communication was going from Otani through Mitsuhara to the agent and spokesman. So who knows what Otani actually knew or didn't know. And shortly after the realization that Ipe was lying to him, Otani opened his account and noticed the missing money. A firestorm of reporting came out from Otani's spokesman saying Ipe was lying the whole time and Shohei had no knowledge of any payments or gambling debt. A little later in the day, Otani's lawyers released a statement that he was the victim of massive theft and they were now getting the authorities involved. They didn't specify who was the suspected thief. However, half an hour after this statement, the Dodgers would fire Ipe Mitsuhara. And a couple hours after that, Ipe tells ESPN he had lied in the previous interview and that Otani had no previous knowledge of the gambling debt or any of the payments. So what are we supposed to believe? Is this a situation where a friend is helping out another friend in a time of need without thinking about the possible ramifications of his actions? I mean, it is kind of hard to believe that Ipe could rack up four $4.5 million in debt off a reported $300,000 salary. You'd think his creditors had some kind of assurance that he would be able to pay back those massive amounts of money. And if Otani knowingly wired money to Matthew Boyer, it could mean huge repercussions because MLB's rules state that being involved in gambling through an illegal bookmaker, even if it's on other sports, is prohibited. But even worse, if more details come out and bets were placed on games in which Otani was involved, he could be facing a lifelong ban from the sport. Now, the other possibility in this situation is a case of monumental betrayal and manipulation. And come to find out, there's actually some evidence to support that. Since the news broke, there have been some concerning details uncovered about the professional background of Ipe Mitsuhara. On his resume, he claims to have graduated from UC Irvine and had previous experience as an interpreter in the MLB for Japanese pitcher Hideki Okajima. He worked for him once in 2010 during his stint with the Boston Red Sox and once while Okajima was pitching for the New York Yankees spring training team in 2012. Only problem is Okajima never participated in the 2012 spring training because he was released by the team prior due to a failed physical exam. And the Boston Red Sox have released a statement stating Mitsuhara was never employed by them in any capacity. And while there are some reports of Mitsuhara being linked to pitcher Hideki Okajima, they appear to be greatly exaggerated at the very least. And as if all of that wasn't sketchy enough, a representative from UC Irvine claims that they have no records of him ever attending the school. Now, the MLB has a officially launched an investigation and it appears we have only reached the tip of the iceberg. Otani is not suspected of any wrongdoing at this point, but the concerns this story raises are even bigger than baseball. With the increasing access of sports betting across the country, this in no way is going to be the last gambling related scandal we see in major sports. The only question is what happens to the integrity of these professional leagues as it continues to grow and with it the inevitable corruption. More information will no doubt be uncovered and things could get a whole lot more complicated. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.